Hello and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing more Sailor Moon VHS tapes. And formerly we were called Sunshine Farm Collectibles on YouTube. That is still the name of our website and the collectible store that we run. However, you may have noticed we changed our name to Sunshine Farm Entertainment. Don't worry, we're still gonna do unboxing videos and all of that stuff, but just wanted to, in case anyone was confused, the website is still www.sunshinefarmcollectibles.com. YouTube, Instagram, everywhere else, Sunshine Farm Entertainment. All right, today we have 12 packages to open, so we're just gonna get to it. Let's see. Too sticky for no scissors. I hope everybody watching has been having a pretty good summer. It's been a little bit wild on our end with some, you know, medical things going on, people visiting, stuff like that, so. Oop. All right, here is the first one. And I love this wrapping, the little heart is so adorable. The yellow paper is really lovely. I wanna keep this decent. It's hard to save tissue paper. I like that they didn't tape more of that. Oh, a little, this one. Yay, okay, so <clears throat> I think we have officially two of the three of these now. Huh, don't use tissue paper if you have any sticky residue on the item you're wrapping. I'll see, show you guys what's happening. I can mostly get it off, that's okay. I'll be able to take care of this later with some light diluted food on, probably. Nope, I didn't want to crumple that. We can still use it. We can make it usable. There, see, it's still cute. All right, so double length video, Sailor Moon, a moon star is born. Just some interesting things about these. We have another of the, let's grab some of them. Actually, visuals help. So differences between them, because I know this looks familiar, right? We have the double length rental video for moon star is born. And then we also have the regular volume a moon star is born and i know you guys have already seen it but we've also found one copy of the double length video for evil eyes and then this is a regular copy of the evil eyes tapes <coughs> so other other than just the obvious differences which would include these bars across the top. The double length features, in case you guys are a little bit younger and aren't sure what's a double length video, the normal videos at, okay. <laughs> so if you aren't sure, if you're a little bit younger and you aren't sure what a double length video is, these rentals, instead of just having two episodes on them, they have four, which means they cover two of the standard releases of the Buena Vista tapes. So let's look at the back now, and we can compare. Better this way. So remember, we've got the double features here, the regular tapes here. Let's look at the new one, A Moon Star is Born. So the double feature covers the first two volumes, which is A Moon Star is Born and The Scouts Unite. That's four episodes, and you can see on the back here, they didn't want to put the information for all four episodes, so they took, it looks like, probably the first box art picture from Moonstar is Born, and then I'm guessing the first picture from the second volume, Scouts Unite, which we can double check. Let's do it. Why not? So, 
Scouts Unite is this one the, that features Sailor Mercury and Sailor Mars on it. And ye, okay, so they took the the second image. So for the back of this one, we've got these two things that they matched up. And then you'll notice you get the episode descriptions on the actual volumes. You do not on the double features. Just glancing over here, a reminder, this couple's Evil Eyes and Jupiter and Venus arrive, so for fun. We already see, yep, they took the first one there. And Jupiter and Venus arrive. This time it looks like they took the first one. So just some interesting little details. I find this stuff interesting anyway. One thing that they did on the back of the double features that is a little funny to me, having this huge capital S and then starting this line with all caps, Sailor Moon, that whole thing together just looks a little bit funny to me. And something else that's interesting is this Sailor Moon logo, later on some of the other releases you'll see gets a little more refined. And so I'm wondering if that logo for some reason, or maybe, maybe I'm just imagining it, we'll see. But anyway, enough about just the very first one. We gotta keep going, we've got 11 more. So this was what we just opened. The rest of these were just for some good comparison. Let me get this out of our way. All right, let's go to the next one. I believe this actually might be a DVD. Yep, it's thin. I heard the, I can, you can all hear it too, probably the disc. Come on. There we go. Which one is it? Adventure Girls, and wah, wah, somebody wrote on it. Let's find out though, here's the moment of truth. Did they write on the paper or the actual plastic? Whoop, this popped out here. Also, there's no insert on this one. That's a little bit of a bummer, but it's okay. Let's, oh, let's check the quality on the back. It's a little bit scratched. We're gonna have to test this one and see how it plays. That'll be fun though. All right, so then, otherwise this is an official copy. It looks like they numbered the episodes here too. I hope that's like, the... let's find out now. Uh, okay, so it looks like the numbers on the back they wrote on the plastic. Unfortunately, whoever Lisp is claimed this before they decided to sell it. <laughs> but that's okay. We love it anyway. And if we sell this, someone else will love it anyway. So, Adventure Girls. Ooh, let me get that back in there properly. Cool. Something I like about these DVDs specifically was the insert, so it's a little bit of a bummer not to get to talk about it here, but I like how they have the stars to show the different little moments from the episodes on this release. They have a nice description here. I love this type of lettering that they use throughout this series as well. The six episodes on here, if you're wondering, a Reluctant Princess, Bad Hair Day, Little Miss Manners, Ski Bunny Blues, Ice Princess, and Last Resort. This DVD specifically, similar to the VHS tape that shares a cover with fewer episodes, Adventure Girls is a great name for it because it is kind of like, these are the episodes where they're going out skiing, they're going on vacation, they're going to the hot springs with Serena's family, like all the traveling and quote adventuring, <laughs> you know, very right on the nose. So fun DVD, a little bit bummed out about the writing, but not gonna lie, having this on the plastic doesn't bother me because it's, it's a good way, like, you know, just for a quick reference, and then you can easily transfer this into a brand new DVD case. So putting that one aside, going.
next one. This one is wrapped. Let's see what they did. Cut this. More than that, one, but it's kind of weird. These have been sitting around for a little while, so I'm actually not sure what each one is. Just off the top of my head. I can tell this is season one. Aha, Trials and Troubles. This is one of those that is somewhat hard to come by. <laughs> Excuse the weird thumbling. My cat's decided to run around with this now. And especially in the white tape form, I've seen a few of the... Hold on, let me do some surgery. Okay. In the... this one. And this is a really high quality version for this high quality copy for this. We can, we've seen this before, I'll just let us appreciate some Queen Barrel. Think about the end of the first season. One of the most epic moments in anime history, I think. This, uh, this VHS has Tuxedo Unmasked, Fractious Friends, The Past Returns, and Day of Destiny. And then we get these four Images, which, to be honest, these are pretty epic images. It, it, it's kind of funny that it gets paired with this random photographer episode that happens right before, but I think for people who don't remember, that is the one where the scouts pretend to turn on Serena. And so they're trying to throw off the Megaverse. It's a fun episode. Okay, next. This person. I don't, I don't even know what, what's going on here. So much tape, I can't. Where's our end? Okay, there we go. Unnecessary, but appreciated, I guess, amount of that. Try to keep it safe, you know. Oh my god, it's like wrapped in newspaper. Just because this is a plastic covered item like the DVD, it's not such a big deal, but for paper slip cover items such as the VHS tape, I usually would not recommend wrapping in newspaper because just from handling it, the ink will get off on your fingers. And in something more porous like cardboard, unless it has a plastic treatment, it could happen there too. Fortunately, that hasn't happened to us yet. <laughs> Although they did put it in a plastic bag. Foresight, I appreciate, I see you, I see you, okay. Introducing Sailor Venus. This tape has a weird history for me, or this, v this DVD actually, specifically. For whatever reason, I happened to have one extra copy of this that stuck with me after I had, had to sell my former DVD collection. And it kicked around for the longest time, longest time, and then eventually either just disappeared or got sold or something. But it was just, I, I remember I watched these episodes a couple extra times because it was one of the only ones I still had. So it's nice to find, get it back with, looks like there's two inserts in here. Oh cool, this has the... So, like, I was talking about, the other one didn't have these, but this has all of them. So, originally, <clears throat> it came with an ADV.com films, whatever, ADVfilms.com info card, and I can't, is this just a survey? Yeah, this was, like, the old school way of them getting your name, like, name and email. 
you see they even have the email in here but this was how they used to wait for you to send in your stuff i don't know that's cool anyway so then we have this stuff here so there's collectible cards and albums we have some of this we're gonna dive into this world more soon don't worry i love the collectible card game don't even get me started on it even though it has its issues but i have this binder i do not have this one We'll, we'll get into other Sailor Moon merch later. But anyway, excited that we get that insert in high quality. This insert looks pretty decent. A little bit of damage, like the most mild, mild water damage. It seems like there was maybe some humidity that got to it or something, but nothing that bothers me. Happy to have it. And something about, okay, if you're curious, how can you tell a bootleg? bootleg DVD. Let's use this as a good example. On this set of releases, there's a couple things you can look for. The first thing is the DVDs are textured. So the background, like I can feel the outline of Sailor Venus's hand, like all the black outlines are slightly raised if you move your finger across it. And there's other details too. So if it's a completely f like slick surface on a first season DVD of Sailor Moon, then that is not an official DVD. That is a bootleg, among other things. But that is the easiest way to tell. There's some minor, I see some minor smudging, minor scratching. This should play fine. We'll test it out before selling it, obviously. It might also, this might be our personal collection one. Other than some plastics, like some Goo Gone we need to use to get off here. This is basically in brand new condition. I'm very happy. Alrighty, on to the next one. We're gonna hit, not quite at the boxes actually. What is this? Another rare copy of Sailor Moon Super S Super Transformation. It's so funny. I actually watched this one for fun last night. I was just kind of bored looking for something to do. You know, I was thinking about how many weeks are in a year, how many episode episodes are in a season of Sailor Moon. We're not going to hit Super S for quite some time. So why not watch a little for fun? And I... I I have, I did a little more digging so far, other than the four clamshells, Super S tapes we found, I'm not sure if they released any other ones in this format. However, there is an elusive Sailor Moon Super S VHS tape, and it's called, what was it called? Like Eternal Dreaming or something? I'm gonna have to find it, I'll, I'll like put, the info I have about it in with like a still or something like that later but I can't even find an image of it anywhere it's not listed on Amazon it's never been sold I'll put the info for the elusive it's a best of super s edited VHS that was released and in the official description it mentions something about being kid friendly so there's something, it's like a collection of the best episodes for children or something like that. I would love a photo at least if anyone has it just to see what it looks like. Cause I have never seen it and it's, I can't find it anywhere on the internet. This one though looks to be in pretty decent quality. There's some bummer stuff on the clamshell but I have several other much higher quality clamshell boxes I can just transfer this to. So it'll have a nice new home and look beautiful. Why not? Moving on. Last of the wrapped packages before we start hitting the boxes.
any, I'm sorry to those of you, like I'm, I'm gonna try to cut out most of it, but my cat has a fur ball that will not come out. And, I, and this is my opportunity to film this. I have company in town, so. And I needed to get these open. They've been sitting around for weeks. You, you all might hear a little noise deal. Sometimes I just want them to let me in. All right, here we go. So this is good queen, bad queen. It's not the best quality. We we have a better quality of it. So this is going to be added to, I would say, a good quality set. There's just, you can feel, you can't see it probably so much in the video, but there is some minor water damage to it. It's, it seems like it got wet and was dried off quickly but I can feel it, you know. So there's another one of those, that's lovely. And we are about to hit the boxes, so let's do it. Got another one. <clears throat> another white tape of the same VHS from earlier, Trials and Troubles. This one is in slightly better condition, so happy to see that we have one of those. There's just a little bit of wear there, not too bad. <clears throat> God, I need water. All right, then two more. And this is, oh, of course, this is so fitting. So we got the VHS versions of the DVDs that we just saw, where, and in this corner, Sailor Venus is the one that shares the box art of the DVD introducing Sailor Venus. So that's what those two look like next to each other. And let's compare for fun. This episode, or this DVD, the extra episodes that are not included here. That's so funny, okay. They, there's only two that overlap. This one has four that are not included. And then the last two on this DVD are the first two on the VHS. And then there's two after that that are not on here. Also, if you notice the asterisks, that means it was previously unreleased. I'm not sure if that means like previously not on the Buena Vista set. I think that's what it means. Or just like not on TV, who knows. But we can compare to just the, the different star images that they chose to these different circles. There's not even one that overlaps there. That's kind of interesting. All right, and then we have the other one. So let's compare that. Adventure Girls and Field Trips. Same cover, same box art. The spine matches. I didn't. The spine is. It matches on one side. 
yeah, the spine matches on one side for both. And then on the back here, what episode overlaps do we have? Little Miss Manners is on both, Ski Bunny Blues, Ice Princess, and Last Resort. So all four of Field Trips are on the Adventure Girls DVD. And then it has two others that were not. A Reluctant Princess and Bad Hair Day, which conveniently are from this VHS. So... This DVD is a combination of these two, and then this DVD just adds the two episodes that were not included. Huh. Fun stuff. <laughs> All right, moving on. Because why not? Because we have to, whatever. It's been a long time. Got a copy of Birthday Blues, very common. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say. Very nice, actually, on the slipcover. A little, oop, got that knot. With my nails, it's easy. Cool. Almost perfect. That's a really nice copy of that tape. And then we also got this completely sad copy of the search for the savior because I remember why I got this box now. For the two of these, I think it was like three bucks, maybe less. And it was such a nice copy of this and such a sad copy of this. I was like, I just need, I need, I need to save this because I don't think anyone else will see value in it, <laughs> you know? And I'm gonna, I love it because it shows the long life that this one item has had. This was originally created new. Then at one point, it was a free kids video. I think it was in the children's section of a library somewhere. And eventually it was sold, I don't know where first, at Cashwise Brain Nerd Video. Whoever knows where the hell that is. You know, and now it's part of Sunshine Farm Entertainment and Sunshine Farm Collectibles. This one video has lived a life and even had coffee. See, it's, please rewind, be kind, rewind, you guys. And it's rewound, they listen. See, this tape is like the Charlie Brown Christmas tree of our haul today. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Next. Oh, I know what this is. I'm excited. Look at that. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. Bestcartoon.com. I'm going to give you guys a little... So you get a look at that. That's cute. Then, I believe this is the... I'm going to cut it. I want to look at this newspaper, honestly. Yep. All right. So I got that. Is there anything else in here? No, just the newspaper. Oh, and a little card. Oh, that's sweet. Okay. So this is from Japan. It's our first item we've gotten from Japan directly. And what's in here? It says, sorry for being late. Don't even worry. It's, a, we opened it late. You're fine. And what is this? Instant green tea with matcha. You know what? I'm gonna have this cup of tea today. This is adorable. Thank you, sir. This is a really sweet little card. I'm gonna keep that for now. All right, so what is this? I'm glad you asked. Uh, the tape open. Okay. Oh, 
and it's still sealed? I did not even realize that. Okay. So this is called Dreaming Moon. And from the what I remember from the description, I, I think it's a documentary or some kind of special about the voice actors who recorded the Japanese audio for Sailor Moon. And this is a Japanese VHS tape. It does not have English subtitles, so when I watch this, what is this attached? Okay, I'm gonna be using this probably Google Translate a lot, or I'm gonna just enjoy it, guess what they're talking about, and I'm gonna get this online so you guys can see it, and we can get a fan translation if there isn't one. Also, the box art is just adorable. And yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm loving this. I've never had a Japanese VHS before too. I'm reluctant to open the plastic. I didn't even know it was still sealed, but I know we all wanna see what is inside. The one thing is I need, <laughs> here we go, the scissors. Let's see, where is a good place? So it comes with this little Dreaming Moon insert here. And on the back, I imagine that is the table of contents or like what's on the video. And then inside, we have all of this. And I should be able to at least post somewhere a rough translation of things like the booklet. I can do that with Google Translate myself, but let's see what this is. 3-15-10. Is that the date that this was produced? The 2010 is a little late for a VHS. I think this is like the info card like we got on the, uh, the viz, like the, you know, you know, you saw it. Okay, now let's, this is beautiful, okay. First of all, just something to compare. There must not be a ton of time on this video because the white part of the circles are so much bigger and the black part where there's actually tape is not, not thick, so. That's okay, how many minutes is it? Doesn't say on here, but it's got an official seal. There's some texture on there that we don't get on our cassette tapes. there. The back looks pretty much the same. And there is a different color, I think that's called a bumper, I'm not sure, on the front of this one, this gray one. I do believe this should just play in an American VCR, but I'm going to double check that before I try. I don't want to destroy it. So anyways, very, very happy with this with this Dreaming Moon video. That's so cool. We're gonna do a special about this later when we have more time. All right, we've got one, two, three left. And we are saving the bigger boxes for the end. There's two decent size ones. See something blockbuster. Okay, okay. 
You all are probably like, are you faking that you don't know what this, I really don't remember because we find all these random deals and interesting things sometimes at like three in the morning. Okay. <laughs> this is, okay. This is just the slip cover, a cool slip cover. And I'm kind of happy they put it in this for a former rental copy of Sailor Moon Evil Eyes. Is this the double feature? Question. It is. All right, so this is just the tape version only of. Where did I put it? <laughs> of this. And it looks like. I guess Blockbuster put these like big awful stickers or something. I don't know what this is over the left side because it's on both of them. But I don't, I don't know, they're both pretty good quality. I wanna say this one's just slightly better and I'm gonna match this Blockbuster with the Blockbuster slip. So we're gonna just do a little swap a Rooney. And then nicer quality see new homes for things I'm happy two to go So we were able to get a good deal going into our DVD retrieval collection, whatever, I don't know, this one, and we got this nice little stack here, so. Heroin is Chosen, the first volume in season one. This looks to be like new, brand new. Yep, we've got the textured DVD. This looks never before played. This actually looks new. That's cool. Then we've got all the inserts here. Oh, it is new. It came with the card. <gasps> First time I ever got one with the card. Number 43, small lady. You know what that means. We have to collect these. Okay, sorry. Uh, all right. And then we've got this thing you guys saw earlier and our standard insert. I'm gonna keep the card in here, I, I think, for now. Eventually I'll put it in a, you know, thing. But for now, this is a good one. Oh my god, uh, I'm like, oh, the, star, the card like <laughs> threw me off. I was not expecting that at all. Very, very happy. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. It even still has the anti-theft device.
I would be shocked if this had been played before. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. Oh no, where did this one come from? Oh, Jesus. All right, and then the, <laughs> the last one, fight to the finish. We just saw the VHS version of this. Oddly, this one includes two episodes from Sailor Moon R, despite also being the conclusion to season one. Just the way, I guess, the DVD episode ratios shuck out in the end. But still, very cool. Something about these, they like hold on very hard. <laughs> Never played. Nice. And we've got our little inserts here. Cool. All right, we have one more box to do. But before we do that, to figure out where that came from, actually. Not you. You. And you can have this back, too. Okay. All right, we've got to do it. We're opening this pack of cards. Let's see if I still got it. I used to be able to do this without damaging the packages at all. So the first one is Serena with Tuxedo and Andrew. And on the back it says, the wedding of my dreams. And there's a little thing underneath. I'm not gonna read these all out to you. Then we have, this is a scene from the intro sequence of the Japanese version. And it says, spoken from the heart. This is number two. We've got Amy with Luna at the table, and it says, a chance to be with friends. Number 28, Sailor Moon Kick. I know this is the episode Slim City with the guys with the tiaras. Fighting for Truth, number six. And Serena defending herself against evil Prince Darian at the end of season one. It's such an epic moment. And it says, no, oh, I was like, summer holiday. <laughs> the power of destined love, number 55. And then, yes, this is an episode that I believe was cut out of the original deep dub. So it's interesting they included it on the cards. And this is a summer holiday. And in this episode, they go visit a haunted mansion, actually. So that's cute. That was adorable. And these are, if anyone is interested... They came from the Series 3 trading card pack, which was advertised in a lot of these inserts. That's probably why either they were included in one or the person put them in. I, I don't know which it was, but that's cool. And let me just, so you guys can see these again. So, on to the last box, and then we are done for today, y'all. Thank you for sticking through. Let's get this guy going. Or gal.
Ah, okay. <laughs> what a way to finish something completely unrelated to Sailor Moon. Why not? So, we also have a love for the Magic School Bus series. I'm an educator. I grew up in a family of educators. I actually am a rare person who enjoyed school, mostly, minus, you know, certain things. And these are not only, for me, a valuable teaching tool, but I think they're going to be relevant to a new podcast idea we have, which is why we're getting them. Very cheap. We're going to get the whole series eventually, but we've got some. I know this is not why most of you are here, so we're just going to go quickly through them in case anyone is wanting to see... Magic School Buses in the title of all of them. Goes to Seed, Growing Places with Plants. Hops Home, Looking into Nature's Own Living Rooms. Out of This World, A Crash Course in Asteroids and Meteors. And I, if you haven't picked up on it yet, Miss Frizzle is obviously a drag queen. Like, hello. Anyway, uh, let's look at the back. These are cute, just in case anyone cares. And just let you guys glance at these. I'm not going to read much. All right. Then we've got the Magic School Bus Gets Lost in Space. This one is really iconic to me. I remember this design so clearly. I remember her spacesuit. There was a video game for it that was so much fun. Then we have Butterflies. Oop. And we have Ready, Set, Dough. I loved this episode. They get baked into a cake. In that episode so much fun uh, and again look at her outfits and the earrings and everything like cocoon earrings Saturn earrings so so high drag okay that butterfly is meant to look like a scary face I know it does and it's supposed to because they teach about that in this episode that was cool when all the stuff was bigger than them all right, and the last three. Going batty, meet animals with an interesting nightlife. The Bussosaurus, bone up on prehistoric animals. This one was cool. And gets ants in its pants. It looks like they turn into an Oreo. I don't remember this at all, but I love her outfit. So, and let's just glance at the back of these. These are so cute. All right. Time for the stack and our closing. So much in this. I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's unboxing episode as much as we enjoyed filming it. It was more of a mixed bag today. We've got some VHS, some DVDs, some cards some magic school bus uh more than we're used to in this channel right so just to start we're gonna do some separate stacking today we've got our dvds that are coming in on the bottom and i think if we do Okay, whatever. <laughs> there are the DVDs that we got today. I don't want to hurt them in the stacks, so they're gonna move along, little doggies. And let's go to the VHS. So we got our one clamshell here. Then we got a really cool Japanese tape today. Then we'll go here, field trips. Actually, these are all wonky sizes too, huh? <sighs> I'm just gonna let you appreciate these two for what they are for a moment. And then we will do the final stack of the regular style. So I'm sorry, Blockbuster, as cool as you are, you're going on the bottom. Then, Birthday Blues, Common Tape, Good Quality, Trials and Troubles, Love It, Good Queen, Bad Queen, Good quality. 
Field Trips, good quality. And in this corner, Sailor Venus, good quality. Trials and Troubles again, almost like new. Still pretty great. Then, we've got our double length. This is the rarest of the tapes we saw today, I think, probably, except maybe with the exception of the import. And then, just to help the stack out, we're gonna include our other double length. And of course, Charlie Brown's Christmas tree. The search for the savior, it's lived a storied life. And then we'll round this out. Our little, oh, we got these pack cards. We got our little tea. Then I'll just put these guys here. I just want to thank you again, or we just want to thank you again, for watching another Sunshine Farm Entertainment slash Sunshine Farm Collectibles unboxing video. Today, we unboxed Sailor Moon VHS tapes, as you can see here in the stack, from the American release mostly, but then let's not forget one of the coolest finds. Watch out for some content from this, this will be cool. And those of you out there who are bilingual or multilingual and speak Japanese as well as English, if anyone is interested in taking on the subtitling of this or something to that effect, uh, feel free to reach out, sunshinefarmentertainment at gmail.com. All right, I think it's time to go. Ah, one more thing I wanted to announce here. I'm not gonna say the day, but I do share a birthday month Usagi, Sino, slash Serena, and I don't need anything from you guys other than what you're already doing by watching, unless you absolutely would love to give me something, which would be share one of my videos or a podcast that we do with at least one other person that you know enjoys anime, video games, whatever we're doing. If you think you know someone that might be interested at all, just give them a little, you know, and that's the best thing you can do for me this year for our birthday. So thanks again for listening. I hope you guys are having an amazing summer. And I'm going to leave it there. Peace.